All right, brothers and sisters, I want to come out here real quick. I'm down here in our brand new home church. We'll talk about that in a moment that I have set up in my home. I want to come on and bring you some encouragement today. Uh, I see a lot of disappointment within the body of Christ that uh, have been waiting on the blessed hope, the rapture of the church. As I'm looking around YouTube and reading comment after comment and uh, what's being posted on Facebook, I see a lot of the bride, the church, very discouraged. But now Donald Trump has been elected the 45th president of the United States and that puts the rapture on hold for a while and uh, we're not gonna be going home right now. I wanna touch on that today and I wanna bring you some encouragement because that is simply not the case. Now we are down here. What I have set up is a, a home church and I want you to know we're gonna be having services here with family and friends, but this is your home church as well. If you can't be here in person through the internet and through YouTube, then you are part of our home church. So I wanna make sure you don't miss a service. Our precious sister happened to mention that she wished she lived closer, that she could attend our home church. So if you have the internet, uh, you are able to attend this home church and you're welcome here as well if you live in the area. A lot of Christians are discouraged today. They really believe they have been following the signs and we're told to watch for the signs, but they have been following one person after the other, after the other on YouTube that might have an answer. Ministers, pastors, televangelists, evangelists that will bring them the signs taking them way ahead of where we really are in the book of Revelation and talking about asteroids and a mega, mega earthquake. But they're not really talking about, if you notice, they're not talking about the rapture of the church, they're talking about the great tribulation. A lot of these same people that will have you following comets and fireballs racing across the sky and asteroids and mass animal die-off, if you notice, they kind of just skim around the rapture of the church unless they're cornered, then they'll talk about the possibility of the rapture of the church. But the true ministers out there and pastors that do believe, as I do, in the blessed hope, we want you to know, I want you to be encouraged, I want you to know that there is nowhere within the Old Testament, the King James Version Bible, the New Testament, the book of Revelation, that there is a trigger point for the rapture of the church to take place. I want you to not trust in man. There are a lot of people on YouTube that will really hype up the end times and really bring about a spirit of fear with asteroids and mega, mega earthquakes, the big one to hit uh, California and comets and fireballs and the sun exploding because it draws in a lot of the body of Christ. We're living in the end days. Jesus told us that uh, we would no longer, no longer seek sound doctrine, but I'm gonna bring you sound doctrine. I wanna bring you encouragement today. Jesus tells us to watch for the signs, but he makes it clear and he gives us kind of a hint about the time of his return, the time of the rapture of the church. He's not talking about an earthquake to trigger the rapture, a, a, a massive, massive fireball like a mountain burning on fire to hit the earth. He's not talking about that. He's not talking about way, way ahead of ourselves in the judgments in the book of Revelation. He kind of gives you an idea. First he says, no one knows the day or the hour in Matthew 24. Um, he makes it clear. He even tells us about many false prophets. Um, he tells us about a parable about a thief that if the owner of the house knew the thief was coming, but 
it would be ready for him. He would be prepared. But he, through this parable, for only the true believer to understand, it was hard to make sense for those that uh, were non-believers. But he is going to come at a time that you think not. When you're looking for end time cataclysmic events, you're looking for the rapture of the church. And Jesus already kind of gave you a little hint. I'm coming when you least expect, when you are not expecting it. I'm coming like a thief, amen. I'm coming like a thief in the night. You're not going to be expecting me. Jesus says, as it was in the days of Noah, so will it be with the coming of the Son of Man. People will be eating and drinking and marrying and giving in, in marriage. And that is when he is going to come, when it is business as usual. Oh, well, we, everything is on hold now. Barack Obama can't be the Antichrist. Donald Trump is going to fulfill prophecy. The rapture is on hold. Just when you think that he's not coming, I want you to look out because he is coming. This is the highest rapture time that I have ever seen. Because right now, Right now, my Christian brothers and sisters, oh gee, a little faith, are thinking because now there may be peace on earth that puts the rapture on hold. He's gonna come at a time that you think not. I love you. Please uh, be part of our church family here and please consider helping my passion, the homeless, uh, with a gift to our ministry and outreach to the inner cities to help the homeless veterans and the homeless parents and mothers and fathers and children, the invisible people, God's people of the street. I'll put the link below. He's coming like a thief in the night when you think not on a day, on an evening, just like this. God bless.